are the most magical time of the year, but they're also the busiest travel season of the year. So before you pack your bags, we here at the Ember Ruffin Show have invited an expert commuter to give you some tips on stress-free holiday travel. So please welcome Carol, the lead character in a Hallmark holiday movie. I don't care if he's on the red eye to Paris, Danny. Fax it in before the big meeting or you're fired. Oh, sorry, Amber. Assistance, am I right? <laughs> Carol, are you really gonna fire your assistant right before Christmas? Do I look like I have time for Christmas, Amber? As a no-nonsense businesswoman on the go, I practically live at the airport, and I don't have time for delays, detours, or distractions. Distractions? Like having Christmas spirit. Or falling in love. <laughs> well, thank you for fitting us into your busy schedule. Let's get to it and hear your holiday travel tips. You got it. Tip number one, Book first class. That way, when you're on your way to a stressful event, like meeting your fiance Rick's family for the first time, you can just sit back, relax, and sip champagne. I mean, sure, you two haven't set a date yet, and Rick has never made you laugh. But <laughs> who says marriage has to be exciting? Right, but first class is a luxury, and most Americans can only afford to fly economy. Which brings me to tip number two. There will inevitably be a ticket mix-up at the gate, and they will try to put you in economy. Don't let them. Go to the ticket counter and throw a loud, self-important tantrum. Does that work? Rarely, but it may get a snide remark out of that rude yet handsome stranger in line behind you. Someone doesn't have Christmas spirit. What a jerk. You would never fall for a man like that. <laughs> Sorry, is the tip that you should or you shouldn't go to the ticket counter? Tip number three, surprise, surprise, they sat you in economy next to that rude, handsome stranger. Dean, he calls himself. You know, the cowboy lumberjack type who knows how to push all your buttons. The opposite of your fiance, whose name escapes you at the moment. What is your tip, Carol? <laughs> to not fall in love with Dean, of course. What about tips for, like, if your flight gets canceled or rerouted due to bad weather? Easy. Tip number four. If a snowstorm reroutes you to some regional airport in a backcountry town, do not let that airline put you up in a quaint bed and breakfast. What's wrong with a bed and breakfast? Because Dean's there, Amber. <laughs> and there's only one shared hallway bathroom. The last thing you need is Dean seeing you wet and vulnerable in a towel. You need to get back to your fiance. <laughs> who you're just now realizing has never actually said the words I love you, and Dean thinks you deserve better. Carol, buddy, we gotta refocus here. What advice do you have for travelers who don't get put up in a hotel and are stranded overnight at the airport? Carol? <gasps> Dean! <laughs> That's Dean? <laughs> what are you, what are you doing here? I caught the first flight to New York. I had to come find you. It's just, I'm busy at work right now. Cameron, are you crazy? Who cares about holiday travel? He's a dreamboat. But why would he come looking for me? I'm just an icy girl boss with no Christmas spirit. No, you're not, Carol. You're just misunderstood and vulnerable. I saw you in that towel, remember? <laughs> Her fiance! Keep up! Sorry, please keep going. I just wanted to say, because it's Christmas, don't marry Rick. Marry me! Here? Now, in front of all these people secretly rooting for us? If it's too soon now, let's do it next Christmas in the sequel. Christmas wedding. I like the sound of that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Lifetime already did that one. You know what? Let's just elope. Screw it. Deal. Yeah. Okay. Give it up for Carol and Dean, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>